I am a first generation Canadian born to Somali parents, super passionate about the continent, super passionate about Africa, having come to Canada uh, just before the war broke out for them back home. People had really big misunderstandings about what the problems were and, and why things had gotten so bad. So I was always at high school being like, you've no idea how hardworking my family is back home and how hardworking rural people are. And really had this passion that was building up in me and it accumulated when I met Idris because I'd married someone who had the exact same passion. So we decided together, you know, what's the best thing we can do is change that narrative and, and speak for people who unfortunately don't have access to the rooms that we do and use our platform and our privilege to help tell those stories. My first trip with IFAD by invitation was to Sierra Leone. My husband, Idris, is Sierra Leonean and it was his first time ever to Sierra Leone. So we're already super excited and we're going to go visit one of IFAD's projects. What IFAD does in its model is it not only just gives someone a fish when they really need it, it's going to teach them how to fish. You're giving people not only a sense of independence, but also the knowledge. You're equipping them with the knowledge to be able to build a better life for themselves. Shortly after our trip to Sierra Leone, Ifad at the UN asked us to become the first UN Goodwill Ambassador couple, <laughs> which I was like, oh my God, what a massive honor. And also he's so passionate about the same things I am passionate about. It just made perfect sense. He's been not only a great asset to the cause, but an amazing partner. When someone says your name, do you want to be remembered as you know an actor or as someone in fashion? No, we want to be remembered by the impact we left on this world. And we started last year the Elba Hope Foundation, which really is going to be sort of a culmination of everything we've learned from the amazing organizations that we've partnered with over the past couple years and combine their efforts with ours. And we're always looking for opportunities to lift up the communities that we're coming across and lift up people's stories and champion these stories. Four years ago, I decided to get into skincare. The best antioxidants come from the African continent. So I decided if I was gonna do this skincare with these amazing antioxidants, I was gonna put these African ingredients on the front of the bottles. And this is something me and Idris were super passionate about. So we decided to you know, combine our efforts and our knowledge, work that into the formulations, and really wanted to create this in a way that spoke to our ethos, spoke to our hearts. So we've been able to farm and source ingredients from people we've met on our journeys, people we've met along the way. Rural people are at the heart of everything we do. SDG 17 at its heart, right, is partnership for the goals. And that's a reminder that we need to all work together to see the outcomes that we want. The goals are interconnected, none of them work in silo, and we need the right partnerships to really find the solutions. Recognizing that we cannot achieve the goals alone, partnerships like the United Nations Joint SDG Fund and EFAD build on each other's strengths to reach those that are most left behind. Like when you look at issues like gender, you can't talk about gender without talking about climate, for instance, because women are the face of climate change and, and deal with some of the biggest issues in rural communities and are really doing a lot of the work in the global south. You can't talk about education without talking about nutrition and food. These goals are so interconnected in so many ways and I think it's important for us to recognize that they don't work in silo. I wouldn't be here today, obviously, if I didn't leverage and, and, and have the opportunity of all of the amazing partnerships that I've been a part of and seeing how effective they are and how they work. I mean, partnerships are such a crucial part of this whole pie. We need each other and we need the people that we're supporting as much as they need us.